not be the right time? Um, I think that was just West Virginia. They their, their game plan was to stop the run. Um, so Coach Riles was just giving up a lot more passes. Um, and we, that's just kind of the route we went. But I don't think it, it had anything to do with uh, them not wanting to run DJ or, or me or Dylan or however that was. It just seemed like your passes were crisp and it was finding people and there weren't a lot of crowds there. You were, you were able to locate guys who were open. So. Yeah, it's, it just starts with uh, you know our coaching staff and the, the scheme that they, they put together. And this week they did a really good job and um, kind of finding some holes in that West Virginia defense. And then uh, it was just me you know, going through progressions and exploiting those. That fourth, that fourth down play where you broke the sack and was able to find, I think it was Tyrone. Yeah, you know, Tyrone. Uh, what were you seeing on that play? You, you were just kind of feeling it at that moment? Yeah, I was, it was a pure progression read, and the defense end just timed up my snap count and got a good jump on uh, our tackle lining. So that was just a – I tried to do a better job progressing in the game of, you know, using some antics on, on third and fourth down. Um, so those guys couldn't time that up. But um, that's why I, I, I take that one on myself and not on our, our right tackle right there. And ultimately, that's just, you know, me. Um, wanted it, wanted it more, and you know, Tybo ended up getting open, um, keep the drive alive. That that really, I think, should have helped us keep some momentum in that. What so kind of goes? Th what kind of goes through your head when you were stat? You're two yards short of the 300 miles down there. I mean, <laughs> thinking back at it, uh, I'm probably gonna beat myself into the ground because I missed Swanee uh, touchdown pass. I, I lifted that ball up, and I don't. I know we were at least on the two yard line. Uh, we were probably even a little bit deeper, so I mean that hurts. Uh, I'm gonna probably think about that one for a long time. If it wasn't for that, I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even care about it. But just missing out on, on Swanee because I just had told him to play before. I'm like, I'm gonna come back to you. I'm gonna find you, and I missed him. So um, I mean, it, it's just a blessing to be able to get another win. Um, the play reference before you had a pretty clean pocket. Yeah, it was. I was I was clean all night. I don't think I even got tackled tonight. So. Um, credit to those guys on the front keeping me clean and, and just allowed me to go out there and, and put the ball in the spots for us here to get it. How satisfying is it for the whole team to come on the road and just kind of take care of this? Yeah, I think it's just credit to the work that you know the guys put in during the week. And uh, we practice we practice really hard to be able to go out here and perform the way we do on Saturday. So it's not a surprise to anybody in our building what we um, can do when we step on the field and play you know, Kansas State. Um, way of football, so just got to continue to, you know, not get get too high, never get too low, just just keep that neutral mindset and um, attack practice the same next week. What's your, what's the perspective from the sideline when you watch one of your D guys uh, return of interception for him? Man, we were we were juiced up, fired up on the sideline, especially it being Marquise because um, that man he's he's a great leader. I talk to him, he talks to the offense uh, a lot during the game. And, um, just being able to see um, him make that play and him step up and, and be the person to run that one back. It, I mean, it was, it, was, it was awesome to see, you know, and anytime the defense scores a touchdown, the offense is excited about that. You mentioned the progressions, and it felt like you were going from read A to read B uh, a lot more today. Did, did you sort of feel a little bit more comfortable in terms of going through your progressions, and, and where do you feel like you are, at, I guess, in that fixed phase of your game? Um, just think I'm improving. Uh, just a little bit every week, and you know tonight it was a, a lot more progression-based stuff, and just being able to go from one guy to another. Um, I think it just starts with how clean the pocket was tonight, and being able to stand in there. Those guys did a really good job keeping me clean, so um, not ever having to worry about you know escaping the pocket or anything. Just being able to sit back there clean and um, throw with a, a clean pocket all night definitely is credit to you know those guys. That's right. Time for one more. Do you have a feeling that Jaden was going to be open on those two plays you got him back today? No. Um, so the touchdown I threw him, um, I, or he, he went deep and I threw it. And when it came out of my hand, I was like, gosh, I just underthrew that. So for it to be to be able to hit him in stride and him get his first touchdown of the year um, was a, a, re a really good feeling because the, the drive before, I felt like I missed him on the post ball. And I went to the sideline and I was like, OK. That one's on me. I'm going to come back to you. And then we have that back-to-back -back plays to J.J. So um, I guess I'm a man of my word. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks, Avery.